Lauren Boebert is probably one of, if not the dumbest members of Congress, and I say that well aware of the fact that people like Louis Gohmert exist, and I know that they exist, but even compared to Louis Gohmert, I mean, she's giving him a run for his money, and this is someone who I genuinely think is stupid, and you might view that as an ad hominem, but I genuinely think that she has a low IQ and that she's unintelligent. And if you're not convinced, I mean, let me give you a couple more facts. Uh, she is a member of QAnon. She actually subscribed, at least at some point, to the QAnon conspiracy theory. On top of that, she conspired with January 6th insurrectionists. So this person is, is very stupid. And it seems like she's almost in a competition with her colleagues to be viewed nationally as the dumbest member of Congress. And I'm sure that when you ask her, she thinks she's smarter than everyone else. But I, I just got to give you a couple of examples that demonstrate how dense this person is just from lately. So she tweeted about climate activist Greta Thunberg, and she tries to attack Greta by saying, uh, tell me you have absolutely no idea why you're protesting without telling me you have absolutely no idea what you're protesting. Now, it's a really quick clip that we're going to play, but let's see if we could try to decode this very cryptic message from climate activist Greta Thunberg. No more exploitation of people and nature and the planet. No more exploitation. No more blah, blah, blah. No more whatever the fuck they're doing inside there. <laughs> If you have an issue understanding what she was saying there, even without the context, that says more about you than it does about her, Lauren. I think it's clear that she is calling on leaders at the UN Climate Change Conference to take action. Stop using flowery words, stop trying to placate climate activists, and actually do what is needed to save the planet. If you don't get that that's what she's trying to say, I mean, I can't, I can't help you there. Maybe... This issue is just too big for your comprehension. Uh, but there's another issue that she decided to weigh in on, and that is the paternity leave debate that's all of a sudden being turned into a cultural issue by the right. Either way, she weighed in, and undoubtedly, after everyone has already spoken about this, Tucker Carlson, Joe Rogan, she came through with the dumbest take imaginable. I mean, this is a hot take, and it's laughably stupid. Mayor Pete was on a two-month maternity paternity, whatever the heck you want to call it, leave. The guy was gone, okay? The guy was not working. Because why? He was trying to figure out how to chest feed. Maybe someone should tell him, please, so he can get back to work. Listen, I'm a mother of four. I delivered one of my children in the front seat of my truck. Because as a mom of four, we got things to do. Ain't nobody got time for two and a half months of maternity leave. We have a world to save here. You've got a world to save from climate change? What? Uh, of course, communism. That's what we're saving the world from, I'd assume. Communism. That was just embarrassing. That was really embarrassing. She bragged about this. I'm a mother of four. I delivered one of my children in the front seat of my truck. Now, you'd think upon hearing that story, man, that's that's really tragic. Did you not have medical insurance? Were you not able to make it to the hospital in time? What's what's the backstory? Uh, well, it's because as a mom of four, we've got things to do. Ain't nobody got time for two and a half months of maternity leave. So because you're busy, you decided to just pop the child out in the front seat of your truck. I don't understand. W what are you even trying to get at here? Lots of people have things to do, but if you're literally delivering a child and you purposefully delivered your baby in the front seat of your truck because quote unquote, ain't nobody got time to take time off, you're a fucking moron. And I don't believe that she delivered the baby in the front seat of her truck because she was short on time. I, I just don't believe that. And if you think that people delivering their babies uh, in the fronts of trucks and getting quickly back to work is like some virtuous thing that we should celebrate as society. No, it actually speaks to the barbarity of America. Aren't you supposed to be a pro-life person, by the way? I mean, isn't paternity and maternity leave a pro-life policy? Don't you think that if you are pro-family, you would encourage parents to take the time 
to take care of their babies and get to know their babies. I just, this is so stupid. People are busy, so they're just like popping those fucking babies out. They're flying out, literally, and um, somebody's catching it, and then they're getting right back to work. That's the way it works. And I love how that's their counter to pro-family policies. This is the family values party, but yet their response to a policy that's extremely popular is to counter by saying, ain't nobody got time for that. They'll recite a meme from 2013 before they actually put up a legitimate counter argument to paternity and maternity leave. And for her, I mean, of course she had to throw in homophobia. Oh, well, you know, maybe Pete Buttigieg is taking all that time off because he's trying to figure out how to chest feed. We get it because you're, you're gay and you can't have babies, LOL. Okay, point taken. Except I think that you know why he's taking time off because it's important that you spend this time bonding with your children. I just, look, I hate Pete Buttigieg and I don't like this story because it's making me have to in a roundabout way, defend Pete Buttigieg, even though I'm really defending paternity leave itself, but they can't not show their true colors, the homophobia, the stupidity, them promoting barbarity in our system. Oh, well, you know what? This is just the way it is. We don't have time for maternity leave. I don't have time to take time off because I'm busy, uh, you know, serving the capitalist overlords. And she's like a business owner, right? So she was getting back to work at her own restaurant that she owns and runs. But for the average working person, taking time off is actually very valuable and necessary, especially when you have a fucking child. But if you're Lauren Boebert, pop that fucker out and get right back to work, peasant. I mean, this is, this is a rising star in one of two major parties in the United States. Long story short, folks, we are fucking doomed because dipshits like this are going to continue to get elevated to positions of power and influence. And you heard it here, folks. She thinks that ain't nobody got time for maternity leave. What a fucking <laughs> imbecile. It's almost funny. She's, she's so insufferable. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. 